Hey, what's going on guys? Gonna do a quick video on my experience with the University of New England. That is the university um, where I took my online prerequisite courses for medical school. Uh, so the courses that I had to take, my prerequisites, uh, besides my undergrad degree, uh, were biology one and two, and organic chemistry one and two, and I also took uh, biochemistry uh, in UNE online. UNE, University of New England, it is a uh, university in Maine and they have an online extension component of that school. UNE also has its own medical school. So the courses that I took uh, were Biology 1, Biology 2, and Organic Chemistry 1. I have not taken Organic Chemistry 2 yet, but that is uh, upcoming. I will knock that out within the couple next couple of months. So there are many um, online platforms where you could take these courses. Uh, many universities do offer. I know UC San Diego offers one, UC Berkeley does as well. But the reason why I picked UNE is because one, it is pretty popular. Um, a lot of students have done it uh, and a lot of medical schools accept UNE. Uh, so it is pretty reputable. So um, I decided to go with that. Uh, the expenses, it is about, um, 1200 to 1500 bucks per class so it's a pretty uh, expensive uh, course uh, depending on if you're taking the lab or not so if, it's, if you're taking the lab with it uh, then it's around 1500 or so and then um, no lab I think it's like around 1200 and then to buy the lab kit it's about uh, three to four hundred bucks that's uh, outside of the course fee that you pay so I'll just give you like a quick overview of like how uh, I studied and uh, I did get A's in all of them uh, the course that I've taken so far and the way that I went about it so so UNE it is all um, very flexible right all the courses so you could start I believe uh, all the courses they start every two weeks so you could start like uh, you know whenever every two weeks um, they start on a Wednesday and you have up to 16 weeks to complete it all right so you could complete it within four weeks uh, if you can and if you want but you have up to 16 weeks to complete it so it is very flexible right so you can study like uh, whenever and wherever you can so every single course they have uh, the lecture components to it uh, they have recorded lecture videos they have homework uh, and they have quizzes and midterms and final exam. Usually for the quizzes uh, and the homework, it is open notes, open uh, book, uh, and it is on time. The midterm and final exam, those are timed and uh, um, it is closed books and closed notes except for organic chemistry. It is proctored, so you have to schedule the exam through a uh, online platform called uh, proctor you and pretty much uh, it's a real person just kind of watching you through your web camera uh, making sure that you're not cheating and stuff and they also have access to your screen so they uh, know that you're not going to the internet googling stuff and so I'm gonna go kind of like uh, course by course on like how I went about it and a uh, little tips and tidbits so first I'll go through biology 1 and biology 2 uh, because they are taught by the same professor. So the way I would go about it, um, so they'll have about 14 or 16 chapters uh, for the course. So first thing I would do is watch the lecture videos for that corresponding um, chapter. And that will take you about an hour to watch all the, all the lecture videos. Following that, I would do the homework problems. And the homework problems, it is uh, online and it, it's got a smart book component to it. So what that means is that each homework problem per chapter is gonna have about 60 questions. So you look at the question, and if you don't know the answer to it by um, watching those lecture videos, there's like a um, thing on the right that says, read about this, right? So you, you click on that, and then by clicking that, that takes to the e-textbook, uh, to the part that uh, responds to that question, all right? So you're not reading the entire textbook, you're reading the textbook, the part of the textbook that is going to answer that question um, of their homework problem. So you will do that. So you will do uh, all the questions and you will read the textbook as needed, right? And then knock all that out and then you'll go for the quiz, all right? So the quiz, it is open book, open notes, and it, it is on time. You're allowed to take it once, but you're allowed, like you're only allowed to submit it once 
but you're allowed to click in and out of the test as much as you want. So once you're done with the homework, go to the quiz, click on it, and I would just uh, see what all the questions are, all right? Just read through all the questions. And then uh, see what you could answer, what you cannot, what you're sure about, what you're not sure about, and then re-watch all the lecture videos because I'm telling you, the lecture videos, they go through everything that you need to know for the quiz, all right? But um, you're not gonna catch everything the first time you watch the lecture videos. So read the questions for the quiz and then watch the lecture videos because then the minute you hear that topic being, being mentioned in the lecture video, your ears are gonna get popped up and you're gonna like listen for that. And that's gonna give you the answer for the quiz, right? So if you follow this format, you will get 100%. And if for some reason you cannot find uh, the answer to whatever question you're struggling with in the quiz, in the lecture videos, which is unlikely, but if you do, then just go to the textbook and like, you know, on the e-textbook, just do a search and uh, just read about it, all right? This will guarantee you that you will uh, finish or you will do all the quizzes and you will uh, get 100% like in them. And then the lab component to it, depending on lab one or um, biology one lab or biology two lab, they have different formats, uh, but you have to order separate kits for it. Um, there's really no tips for that, I will say. I would just do it the way it says for you to do it. It is pretty uh, self-explanatory. I don't think it's too hard. And then for the midterm and the final exam, um, just they have study guides for them and it is all broken down by chapter, right? So as you're going through the chapter, I would answer the questions that are in the study guides uh, for that chapter. So that by the end of, you know, half, like the midpoint for the midterm or the final point for the final exam, you have the study guide already all, all filled out. Then all you gotta do is just read through the study guide uh, for uh, a little review. And if I were you, what I did was I would read through the study guides and then re-watch all the lecture videos again. So that's biology one and two. Just do that and you will do amazing. You'll get an egg guarantee. For organic chemistry one, um, I will refrain from talking about two, but I think it's similar to one um, as to how uh, you, like you should go to study about it. So organic chemistry in UNE, I, I think it is poorly organized. It is not very well done. Uh, the teacher just kind of like reads through the slides and organic chemistry, not something that you can just read. Uh, you gotta do and uh, be explained with like physical motion. It's gotta be a dynamic lecture for you to kind of comprehend, at least that's how it is for me. The best thing that I would recommend is you read uh, or uh, you look up Jancy Despain. Uh, just Google her name, Jancy, J-A-N-C-I, first name Jancy, Despain, D-E-S-P-A-I-N. She offers um, her own tutoring um, service for organic chemistry one and two, uh, specifically for UNE. I would not watch any videos on UNE uh, online for the lecture videos for organic chemistry one because I don't think it's helpful. Jancy has all the corresponding videos for UNE by chapter for organic chemistry one and two. So watch her videos versus the UNE one, watch all of her videos, then do the homework that UNE is asking you to do to like reinforce those ideas, and then uh, do the quizzes. The quizzes in Organic Chemistry 1, it is all open book, open uh, text, uh, so you could you know, take your time, get all the help you need to get to do it. And on top of that, the exam, the final exam, and the midterm exam, it's also open book, open text. Take it how you will, but organic chemistry is something that you just cannot like, you know, look up answers. You have to know how to do it. You gotta understand the concepts. So yes, it is nice to have open book, open uh, text, but what that means is that you will just have access to all the formulas, all the reactions, but you still wanna have enough practice so you know how to do them. Biggest advice I will say for organic chemistry one and two is look up Jancy to Spain, Bright Idea Tutoring. Uh, and that's gonna solve all your problems for uh, organic chemistry. Biochemistry, the only thing I will say is that uh, it is very similar to biology one. I'll do the same exact strategy for uh, biochemistry that I did for um, biology one. I think biochemistry is a bit harder than, than biology, at least it was for me. It took more time for me to kind of uh, understand it, to study more. Uh, so besides just um, watching the lecture videos, and doing the homework problems. I also did a lot of uh, YouTube searches and just kind of watching uh, the videos and the animations on 
biochemistry on YouTube uh, because one thing that I think UNE lacks on is dynamic um, lectures. It is all slideshows and the professor you do, but they just kind of like read through the slideshows. That's I think okay as a background, just like a little foundation and it's okay for you to do a second time um, review after you have done some problems, you know, done some homework. It is not a good way to learn everything on the first time go. I think that there should be more dynamic. There should be writing, there should be moving around, there should be animations uh, for you to really comprehend because, I don't know, you just kind of get bored just looking at slides. So that's my advice for you. Let me know if you have any questions, like, share, subscribe. All right, guys, bye.